and trainer. I'm the co-owner of the Case Olympics Gym in Birmingham, England. What we're gonna do now is like um, a way to get him off balance when you're in the clinch, right? This is got my neck. The hold we're gonna be in, I'm gonna have one on the neck, one locked onto the arm. Also from this position now, so this is quite a good one to be in, it means he can't elbow me with this arm, it's very hard for him to elbow me with that arm. Right, what's probably going to happen is with this other arm, I'm going to try and snake in to grab onto my neck to get into a stronger position. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to leave it a little gap because obviously that's what I want him to try and do. So as he comes to snake in, I'm going to pop my shoulder in, bring his leg back so I'm dragging him kind of towards me, and from there, obviously, I can knee to the base. And again, so I'm kind of locked on, I'm going to snake in, pop my shoulder in, bring him round, so I step his leg back and then knee. I'll do it the opposite way so you can see from this angle. So he snakes his arm through, he pop the shoulder, then comes back, lock on, and then knee. Okay, I've tried that, so it's very effective, and obviously the shoulders are very important when you start clinching, because the idea is you don't want him to be able to grab onto your neck. So once he's onto your neck, he's got some kind of uh, stability and he's very strong. Okay, so again, just one more. As he, the arm comes in, so it's slowly, on again, just before he grabs hold of me, I pop and I pull him round to be able to get in for the knee there. Okay, have a try that, see how it works, take your time with it, and obviously a bit later on, try and do it a little bit stronger. Okay, cheers.